This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Kelly Meyer. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. There's still a shelter set up this morning for those hit by the flooding in Penn Yan yesterday. The Red Cross has set up a shelter at Penn Yan Academy on Court Street. The shelter has food, water, and cots on hand. Now the weather for the next 48 hours will be crucial. Any substantial amount of extra rain could cause more flash flood conditions. We know that there's some more storms in the area um, predicted, so obviously we hope that that won't change our, our needs and our plans, but if uh, we're here and we're in contact with emergency managers, so if that happens, we'll be ready to, uh, to reassess our, our plan and, and be ready to serve the needs of this community as needed. If you want to help the Red Cross by donating, you can call, click, or text the phone numbers or websites on your screen. The text option is an automatic $10 donation, which will be charged to your phone bill and the money will go towards the Red Cross Disaster Relief Fund. Now to the 2014 election. John Cahill has won the New York Republican Party's nomination for Attorney General. Cahill was a top advisor to former Republican Governor George Pataki, and he served stints as Chief of Staff, General Counsel, and Commissioner of the State Department of Environmental Conservation. Cahill faces Democratic Attorney General Eric Schneiderman in the November election. After accepting, Cahill said if he's elected, he'll work to defend the interests of taxpayers and build confidence in government. Also from the convention, Onondaga County Comptroller Robert Antonacci has won the state Republican Party's nomination to challenge New York Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli. He's a lawyer and an accountant from Syracuse who was first elected County Comptroller in 2007. He has vowed to participate in a pilot public campaign financing program recently rejected by DiNapoli. Well, Craig's here with our forecast. Craig, what's going on? Hey, Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Temperatures today, summary, we should make the 80s, solid 80s anyway. Now, there is a risk for a shower, thunder shower. That activity will hold off, though, I think, until very late today, and it's spotty in nature. It's only like a 20 to 30 percent risk, so many of you probably won't even see it, which is a good, good thing. I mean, especially for those folks up towards Penn Yen. So 85 today. We will be tracking again that threat for a passing shower or thunder shower. If you log on to the website weny.com and, and click on uh, our zoom radar feature there and you look at the radar, there's not going to be an overwhelming amount of cells on it this afternoon. So again, some good news uh, for folks dealing with the flooding. In summary, it's summary today. We've got temperatures solid 80s, but it will turn cooler as we head into Friday with rounds of rain coming in. And because of that, National Weather Service flood watch is posted now for, um, oh, let's see, uh, Potter County in Pennsylvania, Steuben County, and Yates County as well. These uh, are not so much for today, but for tonight and Friday. Today should be okay. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised to see these flood watches expanded a little bit because I do think there will be a good uh, around uh, rain, a uh, decent around rain uh, coming up here as we head into Friday. So here's a look at satellite and Doppler radar loop and there's the wet weather off to the west. You can see it extending all the way down through the spine of the Appalachians up through the Ohio Valley. This is associated with a cold front that will slowly work its way to the east and as it does so it's going to slow down and become what we call quasi-stationary, meaning that it's not going to move a whole heck of a lot. We have help from the Atlantic. We have help from the Gulf of Mexico. That will translate to a decent flow of moisture, very moist flow of air into the northeast. And with the front nearby and these little ripples of low pressure moving along that front, rounds of rain will be coaxed up into the region starting later tonight and into Friday. So let's take you through future track today. Uh, again, just a passing shower, thunder shower late today, this evening, 20 to 30 percent risk. So it's not an overwhelming threat. Friday's here at eight o'clock in the morning and there's the heavy rain associated with that front as it slows down. You can see that will be impacting us for much of the day. Unfortunately, we will be watching for some more flooding. The rain will start to taper off a little bit Friday afternoon as the front finally moves away, but there will be some leftover upper level energy. So Saturday, I can't rule out a spotty shower in places around the region, but a lot of dry time on Saturday. So your forecast then for today, expect numbers to make it into the low 80s. Skies partly sunny, summery warmth with a breeze and the chance for a late day 
shower or thunder shower. 7 day forecast, notice the numbers here, 60 and 62. So not a lot of movement as we head into tomorrow and that 62 will probably be in the morning with temperatures backpedaling as we head into the afternoon with rain heavy at times. A spot shower or two over the weekend with temperatures in the 60s does look like we start to dry out next week. Kelly. Thank you, Craig. Well, for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Kelly Meyer. Have a great day, everyone.